This is a model of one molecule of acetyl salicylic acid, the active ingredient in an aspirin tablet. It does reduce swelling, but it can't stop gangrene, as the Williamses learned too late to save their child. The Williamses were charged with involuntary manslaughter. Could a reasonable jury conclude beyond a reasonable doubt that the Williamses were aware of the risk they were taking with their child's life in time to save it? In Washington State, where they were prosecuted, they were convicted by a jury that operated under instructions requiring the state only to prove negligence, not recklessness. Under traditional doctrine, recklessness has to be shown to convict someone of involuntary manslaughter. The model penal code innovated by proposing that the states define an offense called criminally negligent homicide. Under the model penal code, a person acts negligently when he should be aware of a substantial and unjustifiable risk the taking of which is a gross deviation from the standard of conduct that a law-abiding person would observe in the actor's situation. The Williams Court does not require the prosecution to prove gross negligence. Ordinary, tort-level negligence can suffice. As the Model Penal Code also does in its definition of voluntary manslaughter, the Code directs the fact finder to consider the actor's situation. What was the Williams' situation? They had been told that their child could not be treated until the swelling had gone down. You or I would be skeptical. Should the fact finder adjust the standard of conduct in light of the defendant's ignorance and possibly limited intelligence? The model penal code indicates that the standard of conduct is invariant across the range of intelligence people are said to possess. The commentary tells us that certain facts would belong to the actor's situation, such as confusion consequent to a blow to the head. But the heredity, intelligence, or temperament could not be without depriving the criterion of all its objectivity. So the court in Williams expects these impoverished defendants to meet the same standard of conduct as that applied to the lucky residents of the town of Redmond, Washington, median annual household income over $130,000. On our chart, we add Williams manslaughter which requires the prosecution to show only ordinary negligence. And we can also add model penal code negligent homicide, which allows conviction of the grossly negligent but oblivious defendant. It is worth noting that Washington State has since redefined the crime of manslaughter to require that recklessness be proven and it also introduces an offense of criminally negligent homicide. Let's take a step back to survey the model penal code map. There are three grades of criminal homicide. Murder, without degrees. Manslaughter, voluntary and involuntary, without degrees. And one degree of criminally negligent homicide. So, under the model penal code, there are three and only three grades of criminal homicide. Is that enough? Or is it already too many?